Hello everybody, this is Tom from 20th Century Rescue and I am reviewing uh, these what looks to be 19th century um, bone china uh, demitas pair of demitas cups and saucers and um, they are marked uh, H and H the name, the full name uh, escapes me. It may be Haviland, actually. I'm not sure, but I'll look that up later. Um, these are fantastic pair. They are muted in color. Um, the cups are a matte finish, and they do show some smudge marks. Um, they're more of a matte finish than the, the saucer. Well, no, I guess the saucers are kind of matte as well. Um, but they are peach and yellow with gold rim uh, in a leaf. You can have your demi toss. It's actually quite big for a demi toss cup, isn't it? Um, so let's just say coffee, uh, espresso, and you could have uh, room there for a biscuit here. Um, I don't think that's just decorative. I think it's perhaps uh, intentional to leave room for a biscuit or two. Um, this one here, is it this one? There's no cracks or breaks, but I'm just trying to see that um, there is one of these that just has, there it is, right here, kind of a smudge mark. These are I just washed. Let me put this in a different light here. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, I mean, they're probably over 100 years old. Um, there's a little spot there. And on the bottoms, they do have stack marks. That uh, black uh, rubbing mark, um, both of them have it. There's the H and H mark. Hand drawn, H and H. Maybe that's a stamp. And the smudge marks here. Um, yeah, it is just what it is. I think they are unique enough to, um, for a, a couple uh, who would love to have uh, biscuit and coffee or espresso at night after dinner. I wish there were more than two, uh, but there are not. And so while I'm here, I will, uh, let's bring this baby out, uh, this Mikasa. Um, I forget the pattern name. For some reason, it was just in my head. It is crystal. Um, it is beautiful. It's probably not very old. Um, I don't know. I'll have to do some research and see if they're still making them or if these were 2000s, 90s, or 1980s. Um, I see a lot of people labeling them as vintage. Uh, there are no chips, no cracks. It is probably about, whoops, 10 inches um, diameter. And... Uh, can be used as a serving bowl, a center bowl, uh, what have you. They did come in different sizes. Apparently, they came in uh, dessert sizes. So there's your Mikasa lead crystal, um, probably 10 inch. Don't don't quote me because I have not measured this yet. And ouch. Oh, this piece of art, which. I picked up today, I picked all these up today. Um, this is intriguing to me, it's very Picasso-esque. Uh, I do not recognize who the artist is. I believe signed Camille, oh darling, artist's proof. No clue as to who this could be by, but, or actually what it means. Um, but the leopard print dress, the, the, uh, the goth girl lace glaives, uh, gloves and uh, what intrigues me here is is this uh, sort of a halo um, over her head uh, whether she's actually wearing it or you know who knows um, but it looks like it is a print or a woodblock print it's not an etching there is no etching mark um, and it looks like it's probably um, I don't know how old it could be, 70s or 80s, maybe even earlier, but uh, by the look of the frame in the back of the, the frame, um, 
doesn't really look professionally framed, does it? But the matting looks for professionally framed. So I don't know how old this is. I don't know who the artist is. It's uh, probably, what, 12 by 12, 18, 20. Um, looking good. It's a mystery to me who did it, what it means, and uh, the, the, uh, the style <laughs> is uh, just all very skewed, and I like it. It's odd, and that's what I'm attracted to, odd artwork. So here you go. You got a piece of art today, Mikasa a center bowl or serving bowl and two 19th century, a pair of 19th century um, cups and biscuit saucers. All right, this is Tom from 20th Century Rescue and you have a great weekend ahead.